Okay, the 38120 cells came in. Headway 38120s. I picked these, uh, these are used cells, and I picked them up from betterhook.com. They're about $12 a piece. Um, obviously, they're not gonna, most of them are not gonna be 100%. So if you're gonna buy used cells, you gotta kinda know that up front. Uh, we're gonna run them through a capacity check, and ultimately we're gonna build a 4S 3P battery, and the goal will be about 24 amp hours for that. To do the capacity checks, I just purchased a, a very cheap battery tester off Amazon. I've already tested it for voltage accuracy and amperage accuracy, and it's pretty accurate for the price. Uh, the goal is not lab quality test here. We're just going to uh, see how they are relative to each other, and that will help us build that battery pack more efficiently. The headway cells are fully charged. We're gonna go ahead and run our capacity check. I built a little harness here with a power pole on the end to hook it to the capacity tester. So a standard rate for capacity checks would be 0.2C. This is an 8 amp hour cell. We're gonna run it at 1.6 amps. And if everything goes well, this test will take five hours or so. Let's see, so we're reading a starting voltage of 3.51, and we'll go ahead and we'll turn it up to 1.6 amps. And as soon as it starts reading amperage, it'll start the timer. And of course, it's gonna jump all around here. So there we go, that's close enough, 1.57, we're looking for 1.6 as I said before. And this whole test uh, should take about five hours, so we'll see what we have for results. See you in five hours. Okay, we hit, uh, as you can see right here, we hit 8.4 zero amp hours, five hours and 11 minutes in. Okay, capacity checks are finally done. Uh, over here on the right hand side, this is these are the results of the 12 cells. Uh, you can see a real wide variety of capacities. These were used cells, all from different lot numbers. So to get the best from our battery, we're gonna go ahead and go to secondlifestorage.com and they have a battery pack building tool which is going to lay out your battery to make a most, the most efficient battery once it's all done. And the results here were 22 and a half amp hours for our, for our completed battery and the next video we'll see how close we come to that.